Hi, I'm my bit of math tutor and today I want to work with you on finding the area of a trapezium and problems related to that. Now trapeziums are something which a lot of pupils think are really difficult. Maybe they've seen the formula, they've tried to memorise it, they think there's just so many letters and it just doesn't make sense to them. Well today we're not going to use the formula, instead I want to relate it to the area of a rectangle. A lot of the areas that we end up working with are based on the area of a rectangle. So a triangle is based on a rectangle, so is a parallelogram and so is a trapezium. Now if we imagine drawing a rectangle down from the top of this, the rectangle would be too small. So if we did a rectangle that was just five across and four down, that does not take up the whole area, it's far too small. Likewise, if I do a rectangle with the base of my trapezium, then that is going to be far too big. That does not match up to my area. So instead, what I do is I say, oh, how long is it across the middle? And if I can find that length across the middle and do a rectangle there, we can see that it matches up to make the perfect size because these bits here at the bottom that stick out, if we chopped those off and moved them up to here, they would be a perfect fit and we would have our rectangle. Sometimes we might find that length across the middle just by looking at it and intuitively knowing what distance is halfway between five and 11. Some people like to work this out by just looking at a ruler Where's number five? Where's number 11? What's halfway in between? Some people might like to work out what's in the middle by doing 11 add five and halving it. So if I do it that way, 11 add five is 16, half of that is eight. So I want to find the area of a rectangle that is eight across with a height of four. So that means that my area is just going to be eight times four, which is 32 centimeters squared. Right, let me show you how this works with a couple more trapeziums. So here on the left, I have three and 11. Let's work out what goes across the middle. Well, halfway between three and 11 is going to be seven centimeters. You can work that out again, looking at a ruler and seeing what's in the middle, or just 11 out of three is 14, halve it to get seven. So we're finding that distance across the middle and then saying, I want to find a rectangle that is seven centimeters across and four centimeters tall because that would be the perfect size for me. So seven times four equals 28 centimeters squared. And then here I've got eight and 16. My distance across the middle, well, halfway between eight and 16 is going to be 12. So we can do that looking at a ruler, 16 add eight and halve it. Or you could go the gap from eight to 16 is eight. So I'll just add on a four because that's halfway up. So my area equals 12 times six, which is 72. Now you'll have noticed I am actually using the formula, but I haven't really mentioned it because what I'm doing when I find that average length I'm do, I'm, I've actually said, look, we can do the top, add the bottom and halve it. That gives us the average length. Now the formula for area of a trapezium is actually half A ab B times H. That's exactly what I've done. But when people look at this formula, they often go, well, what do you mean by A? What do you mean by B? What's going on with this? Well, that half A ab B is just there to work out your average length. And if you get that in your head, then the formula becomes a lot easier to remember. So now that we've found some areas, let's use the same intuitive method to work backwards. So on the left, I've got an area of 16. So that must mean that two times that length across the middle is 16. So if I just do 16 divided by two, I will get eight centimeters. And as soon as you see that eight centimetres in the middle, you can go, oh, so from the top to the middle, I added four and got eight. 
So to get to the bottom, I'd better add another four. So X will be 12 centimeters. And over at the right, we have the area is 35. So that must mean that this length across the middle times by five is 35. So I'll just quickly work out 35 divided by five equals seven centimeters. So that means my length across the middle is seven centimeters. Look at the gaps. I did 10, take three to get seven. So I'll just take another three. Seven take three is four. So Y is going to be four centimeters. Of course, we've still got the formula, but if you understand why the formula works and where it came from, you're much more likely to have success with it and be able to remember it. I hope that was helpful. Please like and subscribe